Hi, I'm Debbie, and in this video we will talk about the importance of being creative. Now why should we even bother to reignite the flames of creativity within us? What will it do for us? Well, in this video I'll introduce you to some of the reasons why developing your innate creativity can result in positive benefits in all areas of your personal and professional life. Now firstly, contrary to what a lot of people think, we were all born creative. Now as a baby we created sounds to amuse and delight ourselves as well as learning the fundamentals of language. And as we explored our bodies we used our toes as playthings. Now at that stage in our lives we loved ourselves completely and believed we could achieve anything. We hadn't yet learnt what failure is and how we could limit our achievements through our thinking. But as we grew through our childhood and then into adulthood, we took on the beliefs and limitations of those around us, or both in our families and the culture itself. Uh, and, and our beliefs, unless we change them, are passed on to our children and then their children and so on. So our beliefs we learned are the fault of no one. They've just been passed on through the generations and have become our truths. But what if those beliefs well, that we learned as children um, don't really serve us anymore, like creative people are poor, or creativity doesn't pay, or that you have to do a certain job to be successful. You know, what if they don't serve us anymore? What if we feel stuck and fixed in our thoughts and find it difficult to deal with issues in our lives, like relationship problems, or feeling stuck in a career, lacking in self-belief, having a job that demands new ideas? And all the time we can feel the fear about being creative. Now that fear, otherwise known as our ego, can keep us stuck in the feelings of not being creative. You know, we can fear what other people will think of our ideas, we we'll be, might be afraid of other people laughing at us, of having an idea that fails, of not being in control, fear of not being perfect, fear that we'll have an idea that we've, we've tried it before and it fails so therefore it's bound to fail again. We might be afraid of feeling silly, of sounding stupid. You know, there are so many fears that can hold us back from our creativity. So we need to look at those fears and break through them. For strengthening our creative thinking muscles, we will have a wonderfully positive impact on our lives. Now, what if you had the courage to stand back and look at different difficult relationships and find new ways to deal with them? What if you had the courage to put forward radical new ideas in your job? What if you had the courage to incorporate new ideas into your own business, to create new market-leading products and services, and the courage to deal with all of the changes that life throws at us? Now, the list of what creative thinking can do, what can help you accomplish, is enormous. And when we feel we have more control over how our life is turning out, we receive health benefits like less stress, and we gain the flexible thinking and approaches to life. Now the tools in the resource library are good introductions into the creative journey and these resources are growing all the time. So sign up for my mailing list and you'll hear when new resources are available as well as details of my free webinars too. If however you're interested in immersing yourself in a creative journey to discover and reignite your own creativity then join me in my Creative Academy where you will receive a monthly video, a webinar, podcast, visualisation and other bonus material as well. Whatever you choose, I hope your life will be forever creative.